I said, we have a very special occasion today. Uh, this is the conclusion of a day-long Polish-American business workshop. We also have several delegations that participated in the uh, bio conference. Um, and, um, and I understand that uh, at least some of them are here. But before we go on, I'd like to introduce to you the president of the board of Polish American Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Lukas Fuksa. Thank you, Bogdan. Welcome, everyone. Shh. Please, Bogdan, let's not talk. <laughs> you just have to be gentle with people. Just <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, for those of you that may not be so familiar with what was going on, actually starting yesterday with the reception at the uh, consulate, which was very nice, and we thank you once again for having us there. We started off our second annual meeting of the Polish chambers uh, throughout the United States. There's a lot of representatives from these chambers, including Florida, uh, New York, Seattle, uh, Las Vegas, and some others. So we did that for the very first time last year, and it was really something remarkable. And I'm proud to see that this is still going on because sometimes you get excited about things and they tend to die quickly if no one follows up on them, but we've had great follow-up with the other leaders of the, of the chambers, and so that's why we're here again in even larger numbers. And uh, so today we held a workshop uh, in collaboration with the uh, PNA and the uh, Polish American Congress, and we had that at their headquarters, and it consisted of a, a, a number of speakers who are here and who I'll introduce shortly. And then the groups broke up into panel discussions to discuss kind of the theme of what this has all been about, which is branding Polska, bra branding the Polish name and the, the country, which may not be the easiest thing to do, but I think it's the highest time for Poland to take on a different brand name that really represents what we're about. And I think, you know, I know Bill Tchaikovsky's here, and, and he had a good example of one of his American friends that thinks about Poland by what he hears and sees from the History Channel. And people don't see the progress that Poland has made since then, and the fact that it's really one of the world's largest uh, economic improvements uh, since the past couple years, and even throughout the recession, which has normally been effect affecting a lot of countries. So. This is the word that we have to get out to the American community, let them know about Poland and the investment opportunities in Poland. And uh, I think it'll be able to grow that much larger and become that much bigger of a player on the, on the world arena. Without further ado, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention a couple people, I'm gonna introduce them, and when I do, I know there's a couple that I'll probably force to say a couple words, and the others, feel free to do so as well. But uh, one of our distinguished guests is the Undersecretary, uh, Pani Ilona Antonishin Klik, who is here. If you could say a few words to the crowd, we would appreciate it if you have a breath left in you. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's a great pleasure to be here with you. Um, once I had, um, I, I, we had a meeting with uh, um, our agriculture from the producers and we did once, only once this mistake to give the food before the, the speeches. Uh, so nobody was listening, Every, everybody was uh, eating, so at this time I don't want to uh, make it harder for you than it already is. Um, it, it, it was a very big, oh, very big day for me today. Uh, today, with the program made by our trade counselor, Mr. Pietroszynski, was a very tough program, but it was um, nevertheless um, very enjoyable when you see and meet so many great people. I would very much uh, thank um, the ambassador for coming today, and uh, as you see, ambassador Ambassador Schnepp is one of the best Polish 
diplomats, you can only imagine, so our, our representation here is getting stronger and stronger. Uh, we are uh, having today a great meeting of the Polish Chambers, the second meeting of, of the Polish-American Chambers, and as from what I hear, and I think I will hear more about this um, in the next day, we w you have already projects which seem to be very promising, so uh, let us know about uh, what you will be doing the next uh, half year. And uh, I know you are invited already to Florida, so we have an outlook which is very pleasant. Um, so thank you for that. Um, now we will have tomorrow uh, the next part of our bio convention, but we will also have some networking to do. Uh, to, to get the, to, to know you because you, each one of you is a very promising chance to enhance our cooperation with the United States. So thank you for this and once more thank you for Professor Priba for your work today in our meetings with the bio, bio companies. So Frank Spula, thank you for everything and uh, guys you've been great. So, thank you. So you must have been reading off my script because there's the other people that you already mentioned that I was going to thank and introduce. Um, and the next one is Ambassador Richard Schnapp. If you'd like to say a few words for us, thank you. All right, good evening. Uh, thank you very much, Minister, for, for your kind words. Uh, my Minister of Foreign Affairs. Sometimes people, just to be kind, they say, uh, they say to me, you are one of the most experienced ambassadors, which was, as a matter of fact, it's true, because I'm the, for the four, fourth time ambassador to other countries, which is the, the unique position. But it, this is a very diplomatic way to say that I'm getting old and I should retire, <laughs> probably. But there's so many things to do that I would like to encourage you on this opportunity to join me in my efforts. So first of all, thank you very much for inviting me to Chicago. This is the second time you're in class month and I really enjoy your hospitality and the great ambience that probably the only Chicago can make. And secondly, there are two very important subjects that I'm very focused on and I would like to ask you to help me. Number one, number one, what is the number of visa waiver? Let's get together. You know how it is. You may have a wonderful picture, a beautiful picture, but when you see the spot on it, it doesn't look beautiful anymore. It's like a visa waiver in our Polish-American relations. We have fantastic relations, but a little spot that is bothering us. Let's get rid of it. Just take it off. We are working on it. It's tough. It's not easy. The, the road is long, but we'll do that. Trust me. Together, we'll make it. And before this year, finish, we'll have the visa waiver off. <laughs> Contrary, we'll have the visa waiver, we'll have the visas off. That's correct. Another issue, another issue, which is the Europe, Europe, European Union, United States trade agreement. Both parts are getting together to elaborate a new agreement, which will be a historical one. There's a big part of it belongs to Poland. There's a great chance, great future, if the United States and the European Union, where Poland belongs, will have a trade agreement that will allow easier trade, easier communication, and a great value in a bilateral trade. So let's get together with the uh, Polish-American uh, Chamber of Commerce 
embassy and the investment uh, office in Washington and let's organize the things properly just to have the results as soon as possible. And I thank you in advance because I know you'll join me in that. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador, for mentioning the Visa Waiver Program. It's on the top of all of our minds. In fact, if anyone, I think the best way to accomplish this is to have every individual possible write a letter to uh, the uh, legislatures uh, that, and the Judiciary Committee that's in charge of making the decisions whether this is going to move forward. And uh, if you need any information on how to do that, who to contact, feel free to talk to me and the Chamber about it. or even better, speak to Robert Johnson, because I know he's been a huge proponent of it and it really has been doing a great job in, in getting the Polish community to get behind it, which shouldn't take any effort at all. Um, another distinguished guest we had earlier today is Mr. Longin Komowowski, who I believe is here, or maybe not. Oh. If you'd like to say a few words, and I know I disrupted your dinner. Dziękuję. Co prawda nie spodziewałem się, że będę zabierał głos, ale chciałem jeszcze raz powtórzyć, przywitawszy Państwa, to co powiedziałem na dzisiaj na naszym spotkaniu, że uważam, że to spotkanie jest szalenie ważne, bo Szczególnie zwracam się do działaczy tutaj Kongresu Polonii Amerykańskiej, do naszych młodych tutaj działaczy z Polskiej Izby, z Izby Polsko-Amerykańskiej, że sama historia, która jest wspaniała, która przydała się chwałę zarówno tutaj liderom Polonii historycznie, jest to za mało że dzisiaj Polska, która rozwija się, potrzebuje współpracy, potrzebuje wykorzystywać swoje możliwości i zarówno Polonia, która ma ogromne osiągnięcia indywidualne, jeśli chodzi o działaczy gospodarczych, o naukowców, mogłaby się włączyć do współpracy, która będzie służyła za, zarówno Polonii tutaj w Ameryce, jak i będzie służyła naszemu krajowi. Z tego też powodu gratuluję pomysłu tych konferencji, które mam nadzieję będą trwać. Zachęcam do tego, aby pomiędzy tymi konferencjami działało ciało, które konkretnie będzie koordynować tą wymianę myśli, kontaktów, które tutaj zostały zawarte, ponieważ najważniejsze jest działanie praktyczne po takich spotkaniach. Jeżeli tak będzie, to, a wierzę, że tak będzie, to te spotkania będą służyły Polonii. Tutaj będą budować oblicze, oblicze właśnie osób, które potrafią działać dla korzyści środowiska, jak i też z naszego punktu widzenia w Polsce będą, będą działać i potrafią działać dla dobra nas mieszkających tam, a generalnie mówiąc dla dobra naszej ojczyzny. Dziękuję bardzo i gratuluję jeszcze raz tego pomysłu. For, for those of you who are not very fluent in Polish yet, although in a few hours you will be, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Kołom, uh, Kołomowski, Longin Komołowski is the president of the Wspólnota Polska Association. So like, Polish Commonwealth, uh, a very important association in, uh, based in Poland, and um, a very brief translation. He is very inspired by the meetings and looks forward to the future. <laughs> that was Bogdan's joke at a Cliff Notes version. Some other people I want to thank, and uh, if you want to feel free to say something, but I know people get restless because I've done these meetings so many times that after the 15 minute mark, Everyone goes crazy. But uh, I know Bill Tchaikovsky, he's here too. He's the head of the US Commercial Service at the US Embassy in Warsaw. Finally started his stint in Warsaw, so. 
uh, and also uh, Yaroslav Narkevich, Deputy Speaker of the Lithu Lithuanian Parliament, who had said a few words earlier today. And of course, Frank Spula, who was the, as I mentioned, co-host of the event earlier today of the Polish American Congress. Thank you very much, Frank. And of course, uh, the Council General, who I mentioned, had hosted the reception last night, Ms. P uh, Polina Kapuscinska. Thank you very much for that. And with that, we're going to not only not conclude this evening, but start it really. And I look forward to doing it again next year with everyone else in even greater attendance and more accomplishments to be had. Thank you very much, everyone. Have fun.